My name is Samantha. Uh, if you're new here, thanks for joining us. We've had a lot of new subscribers still. Our channel is really growing at a rapid pace and that's very exciting for us. We're very thankful for you and the time that you're taking to watch this video today. Um, so this is our first grocery haul video. It'll be in a couple of parts. Um, we went to a couple of stores today. Today's February 1st. We went to a couple of stores today and next week I have a Azure pickup next Tuesday. So I'll film that haul and make this all one uh, video together. So after this segment, there'll be the uh, Azure haul that we have, but I wanted to go ahead and show you what we got. So we just completed pantry challenge. Our pantry challenge was just one month long in the month of January. Um, I told you in our last video that we did kind of celebrate on the 31st with some half price sushi that we can only get on Wednesdays. So we kind of ended a little bit early to celebrate and thank my family for being good sports about all this. Um, and then we did walk over to Kroger's last night, which was next to the restaurant. And we got some milk and a loaf of bread and some cereal. And my daughter was very happy to have a bowl of cereal before she went to school this morning. So today I was off from work and I went and I did a little bit of shopping, um, trying to replenish sort of slowly. Um, I don't want to, you know, break the bank, <laughs> uh, all of a sudden trying to refill everything that we've got. So there are certain things that kind of took priority over other things that mean we may want. Um, I did plan my menu for uh, the coming week and I really kind of planned it based on still some things that we already had on hand and then you know or that we might need one or two ingredients for to to go ahead and have with that so that, that way I didn't have to uh, buy a whole bunch of things but a lot of these things are some staples that we keep around all the time some of them are treats um, and then some of them is kind of um, sort of a new way that we're doing things so the we went to, I went to Aldi and that's this half of the table and then I went to our Walmart neighborhood market and that's this half of the table so we'll go over and talk about some things of course some fresh fruits and veggies were um, really high on the priority list because we hadn't really other than a few apples that we had on hand and some of those navel oranges that we had we didn't really have any uh, fresh fruits and vegetables probably for the last couple of weeks I think um, so, and I like to buy my produce. I like to get a lot of my produce at Aldi just because it's, uh, it's always been very high quality and, uh, and their prices are, are good. They're not quite as cheap as they used to be, but that's, you know, <laughs> that's just the story everywhere you go. So, um, I went ahead and I got a 10 pound bag of potatoes. That'll last us a good long time. That was the smallest um, bag that they had in the white potatoes. They had some yellow potatoes and some red potatoes, but I went ahead and got just some basic russet potatoes. Um, and this was very cost effective. This is a 10 pound bag. It was under $5. And I picked up some carrots. I like to have those in the, just as around for any time I decide to whip up like a soup or something like that, that, that would call for carrots. We got some honey crisp apples, which is our favorite snacking apple. We needed some garlic and I think I don't really have plans sometimes for the um, vegetables that I get at Aldi. It's just I'll whatever I happen to be making, I'll use those as, you know, a side for our dinner. So the Brussels sprouts, that'll get used. Um, and I'm thinking that if I roast those Brussels sprouts, I still have some of that um, bang bang sauce from the chicken skewers that we made um, the last week of Pantry Challenge. I still have some of that in there that's good and I'm thinking that some roasted Brussels sprouts would be really good dipped in that bang bang sauce so definitely gonna be trying that uh, got some broccoli I bought some organic bananas they were pretty um, they were pretty cheap they, they were like 69 cents you know a pound which is I mean pretty much around the same price for you know any regular bananas you know it wasn't too much more expensive for organic so I just went ahead and got those and then I got some onions and what I was really happy about these is that they're kind of small. I'm not, I do use onions in my cooking, but I'm not real, real big on onions. Like I don't like tons of onions. And so sometimes onions are just really big. And these I kind of like that they're smaller ones. 
and kind of more my speed in terms of what I like to cook with. So I got just a few cans of beans. Um, I got a couple of cans of black beans and I got a, a couple of cans of chili beans. We like to put these on nachos. Um, if I make burritos for my husband, those are really good. I actually make a, a dip and we're going to be getting some tortilla chips. We're also going to be making a trip to Sam's this Saturday um, where we're going to get some snacks and some other uh, bulk items that we you know, want to start buying there, like our coffee. We can get a really good price on the coffee that we drink at Sam's um, in bulk. So we're going to try and make a habit of buying some of those things on a larger level. But I make a dip that is white shoe peg corn, which I have a can of on my shelf, but I haven't had black beans. And I use black beans and it also uses feta cheese and then it uses like an apple cider vinaigrette on it and it's really good dip for tortilla chips so i'm going to make that and i'll probably share that with you uh whenever i get around to that we'll make that um part of our show you that recipe so i got the kids some organic apple juice my kids are apple juice drinkers they do not like orange juice i don't understand it i love orange juice some years ago i uh, i did the keto diet <clears throat> and pretty successful for a while but it was it was hard to sustain you know for us and it actually we ended up introducing a lot of processed foods into our diet uh, because of it because my kids were really were a lot younger this was several years ago and they really were not behind you know eating in the same way that we were trying to eat and so I found that while I was making you know like good healthy you know low carb things for my husband and I to eat for the diet that we were on I was buying a lot of convenience foods for my kids and that's what they were eating and it kind of introduced a lot of convenience foods that we didn't necessarily buy on a regular basis um, or you know in large quantities and so it's been kind of hard to pull back from that um, over the years but we're getting there and we're doing good and we're making progress and that's what this is all about so uh, but they like apple juice when I was on that diet, I realized that if there's one thing in my life that I have to have in is orange juice. It was what I missed the most on uh, the keto diet was not having orange juice whenever it was time for breakfast. And it is just, it's a love. It is one of the loves of my life. I love orange juice, uh, but and I'm really the only one in my house that drinks it. Um, I got some broths, uh, some beef, and some chicken these do not have msg they're not organic um all they used to sell organic broths like this and i did not see any so i'm not sure what happened there or why they're not carrying that anymore but um this is this is what they had and it doesn't have msg in it and so just went ahead and picked up some of that and used some of this today for the dinner that we're making um this is a very large box of ketchup <laughs> My husband noted the same thing. He was like, uh, that's a whole lot of ketchup. <laughs> well, so we are from an area in West Virginia that is very close to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And we are very much and have always been Heinz ketchup people. <laughs> and, and we're those people that will tell you there's no other ketchup besides Heinz, right? Because that's, that is just, that is solid gold truth if you are from anywhere out in Pittsburgh or outside of. So last, I, I saw this, I was introduced to this by Jessica from Three Rivers Homestead. This is what she buys for her family. It is inexpensive, it is organic, and when she buys it, she buys a case, you know, at a time when they have it, and then it lasts, you know, for a while. So a month or so ago, I bought a bottle of this to try it. Can I make the change? Can I convert from Heinz ketchup? to Aldi <laughs> organic tomato ketchup. And I really liked it, I'll be honest. And I've had some you know, other brands of ketchup that I'm not fond of. And I, I really liked this. And I like knowing that it's good things, um, that you know everything's very clear as to what's in this, and this is much better for us. So I went ahead, because these aren't very large containers. We are not using as much ketchup as we used to. The only time we really use it is if um, I make tater tots or something. We are definitely not eating out or fast food, you know, in ways that we had even a year ago, you know, this time and a lot of ketchup would be consumed when we would have meals like that. 
Um, but I will, when I make things like sloppy joes and there's a barbecue sauce that I make for country style ribs um, that I'm actually making this week as well, I will use a fair amount of ketchup. So if I'm making one of those recipes, like this is not gonna go very far. And so that's why I went ahead and I decided to stock up my pantry with a full case and see how long this lasts for us. It's not very expensive. I think it's like a, it's under $2 a bottle. I think it was like $1.29 today. It's, it's very inexpensive. Um, so I just went for it and we'll see how long it lasts. So I'll keep you updated. I got my six pounds of butter to add to my one pound that's left in my fridge. Usually when I go to Aldi, I will buy like six pounds at a time. Um, they, it was not the best price. It's not there. They always have a really good price on it. Um, around like in the fall, the late fall, as we get into baking season, they usually sell it for under $3 a pound and they'll limit you to six pounds. But a lot of times I'll make multiple trips to Aldi in a week just to get butter and stock it up. And before I went into this pantry challenge, like in December, I had 12 pounds of butter like in my freezer, um, plus a good supply in my refrigerator. So I'm trying to build that back up. And so we got six pounds today. Uh, we're definitely out of like most things dairy. I like to get my block cheese from Aldi because it's a good price there. So I got four blocks of cheddar cheese and I got a couple blocks of mozzarella cheese. I like, uh, for party for sandwiches uh, we eat turkey sandwiches and things I like to have this around and if I just want to sit down with some pepperoni and cheese and crackers I also like this as well and I got their Parmesan cheese they have some of the best prices it's not cheap really by any means but it's better than my local grocery store and I will um, what I do is I put this in my ninja and my ninja has one of the um, kind of like a single serve um, thing that, that goes to it. And I will blitz this up in my Ninja and I'll put this in a quart container and have grated Parmesan in my refrigerator. And it lasts a really good long time. So I'll usually buy two of these at a time so that we can have a stock for that. So this was my Aldi haul. And I think I paid, I wrote it down. Um, let me see. Aldi was $132.77 today, and, oh, pardon me, which isn't too bad, because I, I certainly could have bought, like, you know, a whole lot more things, but I was really trying, like, okay, what do we really need, what is, what can wait, you know, those kinds of things. So, Aldi was $132 and some change, and then over here is our Walmart haul. Um, I did get some flowers. Because I, I waited a really long time to place my Azure order, and Azure uh, didn't have all-purpose flour uh, when I ordered it, which is mm, disappointing because I don't have any. And I'm actually really attached to this flour now. It's really nice. <laughs> um, but I'm going to need some all-purpose flour between now and what will be the beginning of March is when i am be able to get another uh, Azure order in. So I did get just a five-pound bag. I got King Arthur flour. And then I bought a five pound bag of White Lily um, self-rising flour. This is what we make our biscuits with. And it's been making some really, really nice biscuits for us. And you saw that in, I think it was week one of our pantry challenge. And um, so I've got some of it and we'll see how that goes. I do have two boxes of Ritz crackers. One is regular um, with the long sleeves because I'll use those if I make tuna noodle casserole or something like that and I need a breadcrumb uh, kind of topping, I'll use Ritz crackers. And then we have a box of the fresh stacks um, that my husband takes to work. He keeps these at work and he likes the small um, stack. He's very sensitive to, to stale. Like so it, to him things, if it's been open for a little while, like it, it'll taste like you know stale to him immediately. So if he likes that this is a snacking size and he can open it up and he'll, you know, eat what's there and he doesn't have to worry about crackers going stale on him. So uh, this is for him for work and they didn't have the chips that he wanted. Um, he really likes the hot stuff. We talked about him and his hot peppers and things like that. And he really likes Walmart and their brand of chips. They have something called burning hot chips, which is kind of like their uh, take on flaming hot stuff. But it doesn't actually have MSG in it like the flaming hot uh, seasoning does. So my husband can eat that 
Fortunately, they were out of stock today. So uh, salt and vinegar Lay's is a good alternative for him. It doesn't have any MSG. These do have MSG. <laughs> we are going, we actually really like these. This is like Funyun flavored wavy Lay's. They're really good. Um, we're going to Sam's I'm gonna, on Saturday. I'm gonna let the kids get snacks and stuff. But I, I know that they're, they've been wanting, you know, some things. And these were actually on rollback at Walmart for probably at least a dollar cheaper than they had been before. I don't know, maybe they're not selling well and they're trying to run them out. But I went ahead and I got a few bags since the price was good um, for the kids to have some snacks. Um, I got a very small box of just regular sugar. I can't remember offhand why I had wanted this, but there was, I use um, the organic cane sugar from Azure and it's a much coarser grind and it doesn't always um, dissolve completely sometimes depending on what you're doing. There was something that I had done that didn't really, I can't remember what it was, but anyway, I remember thinking I would like to have some of this on hand where it's just a finer grind um, of sugar if I needed it in a small amount for something just to dissolve quickly. Um, so I'm just keep that you know on hand for whatever I need it for. I did try to grind my sugar in my Ninja and it just didn't go very well. It um, it kind of went from like coarse ground to powder like that <laughs> and there was not really a, a middle ground finding that sort of middle grind. So um, I went ahead and I just have a small box of this. My neighbor recently needed some Worcestershire I'm gonna say this wrong, everybody says this wrong. We're Kestershire, but we say Worcestershire sauce. Um, and I just had a little bit left and he needed some. And uh, so I picked that up today since we were all out. My daughter really likes, she loves Nutella and Nutella has been coming out with some new like little snacks and she really likes these be ready things. So I thought that would be good, you know, for her lunch. Got my orange juice. I got some Yo Crunch yogurt for the kids. Uh, my daughter likes the Oreo. My son likes the M&M. It works out good. I'm going to make my own coffee creamer. I've done that in years past, but I haven't done it in a long time. And I found a recipe that does not use sweetened condensed milk. I didn't really, it uses more of a sugar syrup and then mixed with your milk and your cream and your flavoring. And so I'm gonna try that and see how it goes. I wasn't crazy about the one with sweetened condensed milk. I'd really like to just kind of make it all myself and not have anything really come from a can, you know. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And so I needed whipping cream, heavy cream for that. And I got some buttermilk so that we can make some biscuits. I'm gonna make some ranch. I really wanna make fried pickles this week. And so I've got, I can make homemade ranch and then use this buttermilk for that. And I got some cream cheese we don't have any and I wanted to make homemade bagels. I found the recipe that I'd like to try. My daughter's really been requesting, she's been eating the navel oranges that we had bought, but she's not as crazy about them as she likes these and she's been wanting um, some of the easy peel mandarins and so I picked up a bag of those for her to snack on. So this was kind of where we started in restocking our pantry and we've got some a lot of staples coming from Azure like some more sugar, um, oats, and things and we'll show you what we have whenever that comes in that comes in next week and I'll probably show you what we get from Sam's as well and we'll tie all that in together and show you how we kind of started restocking some things um, as we go forward so thanks again for for tuning in and we'll see you in the next clip when we do the next haul okay here's part two of our restocking process we went to Sam's today and got a few things. Um, let the kids get some chips, they let, um, after school snacks, things for their lunches. So they each picked out a box. My son likes the flaming hot stuff. So he picked that out. Of course, we're out of the canned peaches and are almost anyway, there's one jar that my daughter's holding on to. Um, but she wanted to know if peaches came in fruit cups and things for her lunch and they certainly do so we went ahead and got some of those for her we did not have any coffee this morning because i was waiting to go and buy coffee because we get a better price there um so we've got our stock of that <clears throat> i wanted to try um buying bulk mayonnaise i like commercial mayonnaise 
and I've worked in commercial kitchens and things and I've, I've never had a problem really with their I don't think I've met a mayonnaise that I don't like aside from Miracle Whip <laughs> if you want to call that mayonnaise um, anyway this was on a pretty big discount it was marked it's good until September so it's not like it's creeping up on its expiration or anything but it's just on a really good sale and it was priced at three dollars and 31 cents today so I bought two because we will definitely go through this before September we go through I managed pretty quickly around here so that was fine I did get two boxes of croissants because I want to make bacon egg and cheese croissant sandwiches for the freezer um, so that we have some some freezer meal breakfast freezer meals that we can pull out this is for my husband the box of tuna he likes to take that to school uh, it's what he eats at lunch uh, when he's at work and my daughter hasn't had Nutella for quite some time. And so we went ahead and got the twin pack of Nutella for her because it is a good deal uh, there. I really like these tortilla chips. They're very inexpensive. Tortilla chips disappear very quickly around here. My son's favorite food in life is all forms of tortilla. So especially tortilla chips. If I left him alone, he could probably take down one of these bags by himself. Uh, but we don't let him do that. <laughs> we, we need to share. Um, but we've been eating a lot of tortilla chips aside from him um, because we're so fond of our homemade salsa that we can this year. And that's been a really, that's kind of been a new uh, and very enjoyable snack for us in this, um, you know, this new way of life and, and canning and preserving our own food. So I bought a bottle of avocado oil. I used this many years ago. Um, I think when we we're on the keto diet. We had a little bit of this. We tried some of this. I wanted to kind of go back to it and see what I thought. I know a lot of people use avocado oil instead of olive oil. Uh, certainly, I know, good for you. Um, so I bought a bottle of this to give us a try just to see what I think because it's been a long time since I've used it, so I'm not sure. We got a case of canned green beans. Um, I didn't buy, they had peas, but I didn't necessarily want the brand that they had and they were, you know, more expensive than they needed to be. So I figured I would just go ahead and buy peas somewhere else. Buying them in bulk was not really necessary. Um, <clears throat> we got avocados. When we go to Sam's, we always get a bag of avocados. So hopefully that'll be guacamole or avocado toast or something delicious here in a few days when the avocados ripen. And we got a bottle of yum yum sauce because we have been loving this stuff and I've made my own before but I like to keep some of this on hand and this big bottle is a really good deal uh, at Sam's Club I think this is like it's like five dollars maybe less for this big bottle and for the regular size bottle that you get in the grocery store that's like it's four or five maybe just under six dollars so it's a good deal and I wanted to pick one of those up so I also bought a package of turkey deli meat but I have that in the fridge because um, it's been in the car for a little bit, so I wanted to get that chilling. So this is our Sam's haul for restocking, and in a couple of days from now, we'll pick up our Azure order, and then we'll put all of this together and show you in um, one video how we started our restocking process for our, our pantry and our food stores. So we'll see you in the next clip. All right, welcome to part three of our restock. <laughs> um, so today we picked up our Azure order. Um, if you're not familiar, uh, the company is Azure Standard. They have a website called azurestandard.com. That's A-Z-U-R-E. Um, <clears throat> and they focus on organic, uh, they focus on non-GMO, they focus on, um, you know all, all of those kinds of things and you can buy these things in bulk and by buying them in bulk you can get a much better price if you follow any homesteaders at all you have probably seen them do you know an Azure haul um, I have ordered from them one time prior to this um, I'm not sure I would call it a haul but I had gotten a 25 pound bag of uh, bread flour and all-purpose flour and sugar and I did that in November um, and as you know from uh, earlier part of the video, I'm out of uh, all-purpose 
flour and I did have that as part of my order but they did not have any in stock um, to be delivered this time so that is number one on my list for my order next month is to get um, I want to get 50 pounds of flour um, I do have food grade five gallon buckets that I put these things in um, and I want to have two buckets of sugar and two buckets of all-purpose flour because those are the things that we go through the most in terms of these kind of bulk type items and when I empty a bucket I want to be able to have time to buy another bag before the second bucket is empty so that's really my goal there um, so I got 50 pounds of sugar this time so this is pure cane sugar I'm going to show you what it looks like because if you're not familiar it looks different it's brown it has uh, a much coarser grain uh, to it granule to it um, I have tried to kind of make that finer but my um, blender just kind of blitzed it up into like instant powder so that didn't work out so good but this works out fine there's some things sometimes like when I bake cookies or something where it's not like completely dissolved necessarily but um, it's it's not a bad texture it doesn't do anything you know something awful I've not really run into anything where I'm like you know this just doesn't work and I did buy a small box of like regular fine grain sugar um, because there was something that I wanted it for and then I couldn't remember what in the world I wanted it for but I have it if I need it anyway this is what the um, the cane sugar looks like so these this is organic um, I bought this is a five pound bag of organic chocolate chips these are semi-sweet chocolate chips I'm actually really excited about these I'm not used these like I said other than the two flowers and the sugar I haven't bought any other you know Azure products but I'm really happy with the ones that I did buy I really like the flowers they're high quality they are they're wonderful I do like the sugar a whole lot um, so excuse me so I'm expecting you know good things from the rest of this um, this is a 25 pound bag of organic Thai jasmine rice uh, we are definitely moving into like our rice era we are becoming more rice people uh, than potatoes my kids we all have really fallen in love with jasmine rice um, we love it and uh, so definitely this I'm curious to see how fast this uh, 25 pound bag disappears honestly this is um, 25 pounds of regular rolled oats these are also organic I bought um, I bought baking powder this is non GMO baking powder and this is pure baking soda these are one pound bags um, and so I bought these I just no I just wanted to you know I just thought let's I don't know if there's fillers in you know what I do buy or whatever but we'll go with that and that'll give us a good supply of those things for a while this is a four ounce package of garlic powder this is organic garlic powder um, I'm gonna give this a try I go through garlic powder fairly quickly so I'm not really sure how long the um, four ounce was gonna last me but I didn't want to commit to like a pound you know I wasn't sure <laughs> like um, let's just see how quickly I go through this and then if I feel like I need to order you know a pound at a time or something this will probably be about the only seasoning product that I buy by the pound more than likely but we'll see you never know um, and then I got five pounds of organic powdered sugar um, the the cane sugar in my blender turns into a powder but not like like not like icing powdered sugar it's not not quite that fine and could not be used for that purpose so I did get five pounds of organic powdered sugar um, <clears throat> this is tomato paste these are six ounce jars of tomato paste and I went ahead and I got a case of 12 because I still have 12 quarts of tomato sauce um, that I canned on my shelf and um, I wanted some organic tomato paste to go along with my organic tomato uh, sauce from the tomatoes that I grew and uh, so that's what this was for and then this probably seems excessive but I thought you know I am really for a lot of things and a lot of pantry staples really trying to um, just bulk up our supply you know as much as I can 
if I don't have to buy, you know, panko breadcrumbs in a year, great, you know. They're not super expensive or anything at the grocery store, but these are organic um, breadcrumbs, and uh, it's interesting. They're, they're definitely, they're kind of a little bit brown in color, um, so we'll, we'll give it a try. I mean, how... How bad can, you know, breadcrumbs be? <laughs> um, so those, that's what I got this time. I do have some things kind of already in mind for next month. Obviously the flour. Definitely want that 50 pounds of flour. I got attached to that flour. It's really nice. Um, that and I'm really focusing on pantry staples like um, seasonings. Um, doing seasonings, dry seasonings. They have... Um, they have um, like like bouillon powder, you know, uh, like broth powder, and they have it in beef and vegetable and chicken, and it doesn't have MSG in it. So I wanted to have those. I've got those kind of on my list to get so that I can have something, um, you know, if I don't have some kind of ready-made broth on the shelf, then I've got something that I can um, pull from. And then I can also use that to make my own um, things like, uh, onion soup mix that I use in the cranberry chicken and a couple of other recipes. I use it fairly regularly throughout the year so I can make my own and I can make it, you know, from organic products um, without, you know, any extra fillers or whatever other goofy stuff they put in there. So um, there's things like that that I have on my list for next time. And so this is how we have restocked up to this point um, where we went to Aldi and we went to our Walmart neighborhood market and Sam's and Azure and we are doing good so far. My goal for the rest of this month is to watch my local grocery store. There are certain sales um, that I take advantage of at my local grocery store. Um, they have where you can get 10 pounds of, they run this pretty regularly, like at least once a month, uh, where you can get 10 pounds of ground beef if you buy $25 in store brand products and that th their organic store brand products are also part of that. So, um, so I can buy $25 worth of, you know, whatever. I just usually get some kind of pantry staple. I'll get, uh, some kind of pasta or things uh, of that nature. And if I don't need anything like that, I'll get 25 pounds of butter, you know, $25 in butter, um, and stuff to get the, Anyway, the ground beef, if you do that and you spend that $25, the ground beef is $1.99 a pound, which is an incredible price um, for ground beef. So I take advantage of that and I will go, they'll run that sale Friday and Saturday, and I will go on Friday and I will do it. And sometimes I'll go on Saturday if I have the funds available to do that and get 20 pounds and stock my freezer with ground beef. Um, they also run a regular sale on chicken and a lot of times they'll run a sale on chicken for $1.99 a pound and there'll be no, uh, there's no limit on that. So I'll usually go and I usually spend about $35, $40, something like that on chicken and I will come home and I will, I'll dice it up and vacuum seal it. I will um, slice the breast kind of in half long ways and make cutlets and I'll vacuum seal those. Sometimes I cook it. Um, sometimes I grind it. I've got a meat grinder and I haven't had ground chicken in my freezer for a long time. So that's definitely a goal, uh, to go ahead and do that. Cause I like to use ground chicken for things like lettuce wraps. Um, those are really good and we like to use, we like to have those from time to time. So I want some ground chicken in there for that. And, um, those are the two main sales that I watch for in terms of meat. Uh, I do want to get some salmon. I do plan to go to Sam's again this month, later this month on another payday. Um, and get salmon because I don't have any salmon in my freezer. There, there is talk of, of course, winter not being over and that we might get another cold snap. You know, we could see some more snow. Of course, it's only early February, so that's always possible. Um, and we want to be prepared for that. We want to have plenty of uh, things in stock if we end up and uh, have to be home <laughs> for several days uh, again. So, this is the, the start of that process, but this is how we are slowly but gradually converting the things that we buy regularly and always have on hand, you know, from 
you know, whatever happens to be in our grocery store to something thoughtful, something that's organic, something that is non-GMO, something that doesn't have all the extra, you know, nonsense in it that doesn't need to be there. So we're trying and, you know, we're going forward. And I watched, I saw a, um, an Instagram video. Um, I don't know what it was, some dietitian or something like that. And she was showing how she stocked her fridge or something. And somebody, one of the, the very first comment, I don't typically read comments on things like that, but the very first comment was her responding to that she had already seen people like commenting about the, she had bought a rotisserie chicken and plucked it and just had ready made chicken in the fridge for if somebody wanted a salad or something. And somebody was you know, commenting on that and how that's not healthy for you or she had lunch meat or something and that's not healthy for you. and. Um, you know, the truth is like, we're going to consume some things that aren't healthy for us, <laughs> you know, and, uh, here on our homestead, you know, our goal is to slowly make our way there just to, to get to where we're eating better and we're being more thoughtful about the things that we purchase, you know, and use and to, to make our scratch made goods. But that doesn't mean that we're never going to eat a potato chip, you know, or, you know, or a snack cake you know, or something. I don't want to buy those things all the time, but I'm not trying to, um, you know, I'm not trying to rip all that stuff, you know, away from my kids. Through this process, I have been in this last year and going to the farmer's markets and the things, and they've seen me preserving food. You know, I've talked to them and I've carried that conversation about, you know, we're going to do what we can, you know, if we can do it, we're going to try to do it. And, our goal is to, you know, if we can, 80% of what we can consume, you know, if it's scratch made, if it's organic, if it's, you know, um, not full, you know, of a bunch of garbage, then, then we're doing good, you know, um, and I call that a win. So that, that's kind of the goal that we're going to, you know, are we going to eat 100% organic all the time, constantly, you know, healthy, all whole foods? Like, no, it's, it's you know. You know it's not gonna happen that's not that's not our goal you know we just um, we want to do what we can in the best way that we can to the means that we have available to us um, you know and just do our best and that's all anybody can do and so I uh, just and I would say the same thing to you like just do the best you can if you're not in a place I would not have placed this order um, all in all I think this was like this is about $250. Um, and I would not have been able to do this had I not done pantry challenge and didn't go to the grocery store like I don't normally do for the month of January. That's what made this possible. Um, you'll s orders, you know, that you'll see me get from Azure from this point on will probably be, you know, a lot smaller, It'll probably be like maybe a hundred bucks, you know, whatever I'm able to spend, you know, at the time. Um, just because that's, that's the means that we're working with, you know, and so just do the best that you can. If this inspires you at all to look at something that's a little bit healthier for you, take another, you know, second look at organic and what that can do for you. Um, I can tell you just for me, um, what's driving me in all of this is that, um, I, I've, I'm a lot healthier today than I was a year ago in since that, like, I really believe that making these changes um, has really helped me. It's my body is losing weight. I'm not doing anything. I'm just being more mindful about what I'm eating, you know, and careful about what is in what I'm eating and trying to eliminate as much processed food from my diet as possible. And that's all I'm doing. I don't feel like I'm depriving myself, you know, or anything, but it is making a difference. Just making those small changes is making a difference in how I feel. It's, it's making a difference in how much weight I carry, which, you know, means my body is, is feeling good and doing well. And so I really think that there's value in, um, in eating this way and making these changes. And so I would encourage you that whatever little step you can take, um, take it little by little. You know, don't expect to do everything all at once. When I first started watching Homesteaders and I was first started watching, um, people are just, you know, they're, most of the people that I watch are so far ahead of me, you know, I've been doing this for years and years and years. Like, 
I couldn't, I wanted all this stuff. I wanted to do all these things like all at once. And, and it just doesn't work that way. You have to take it step by step and do little by little. And every success you have, you know, is a win. Every step in the direction that you want to go is a win and should be celebrated. Um, can't do it all at once. It's okay. Just do what you can do within the means that you have to do it and be proud of that. So um, thanks so much for, for watching our haul video. And if you have any questions, you know, about any of this or anything that you've seen, um, just mention it down in the comments and I'll answer questions to the best of my ability. And I just thank you as always um, for, the, um, for the privilege of your time. And uh, I hope you're enjoying our videos. And if you'll give this uh, video a like, subscribe to our channel if you want to continue to follow along with us as we go along this journey and into the growing season. And uh, just thanks again, friends. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.